In this video, I'll teach you how to make a navbar background change color on scroll. So in this first example website, amicia.bio, we can see that we have a background video in the back. And we also see that we have a navbar at the very top with certain colors. But you'll notice that when I scroll down the page, the navbar instantly has a background effect applied as I scroll down. Therefore, the text in the navbar will not interfere with the text below the actual main content. So another example website is midasmvmt.com. We can see again, we have a full video background and sometimes it might not be a video background. It might just be a really, really nice full image background, but we have the exact same concept where the navbar links and the logos have no background to it. And when the user scrolls down, it then has a black background applied. So you can actually see if we actually get rid of this back black background, it will not look as good. So right now I can go into the inspect tool and just get rid of that background effect. As you can see just then, let me just go back real quick. Untick it. You can see that it won't work as well. So right now you can see the contrast is not that great. That's why we need that black background effect in this specific example website. So let's go ahead and do this in Webflow. All right, guys. So right now I just have a navbar component at the very top and you can go ahead and create a navbar by just following my previous tutorial or you can go ahead and click add right here, go to layouts, start a library and just drag in a navbar that you want to use uh, just for example, so you can understand the premise. So right now I've done that and below that I have another background video div that is currently taking 100% width as well as a min height of 100 dbh. So essentially taking the full screen and what I've also done is inside this background video I've replied another div block called overlay test vid and right now I've put the position to absolute and a z index of 2. So I want this overlay to be on top of the video. And all I've done is just change the color to a black with a 50% opacity. So that's why we have this black effect right here. If I actually get rid of this overlay, you can see it's a bit bright and it doesn't really show the example very well. So again, this is only used in very specific cases. And what I've done with the navbar right here is I've changed the position from static to fixed and I've, in I've made it so it fills in the top by clicking this top button right here. And I've also added a Z index of 10. Uh, in this specific case, it could have just been any number above two, because if it's less than two, it will fit below the overlay. So for example, if I put this to one, you can see the overlay is overlaying on top of the navbar because I put that as a Z index of two. So any Z index, the higher the number, it would appear more in front. Think about like Photoshop layers. So in this case, I'll just put 10. And then you'll notice that everything is good. So you can see all the text is white, the logo is white, everything is contrasting very, very well for this hero section. I did not bother to put any text. But as I scroll down the page, you'll notice the navbar is sticking at the top, which is exactly what we want. But after we go into certain sections, let's just stay right here, this gallery section, you can see that some of the links, we can't really read it that well, and it's not that great user experience. So one thing we can do is we can go ahead and just go into the navbar component and change the background color from transparent to let's just say black and problem solved. So you can see that we still have the background video right here. Everything is contrasting very well in the navbar. As I scroll down, you can see that the navbar is clearly standing out and it's not protruding any of the content as you can see. But let's just say you have a client or you don't really want it to look like this. In the hero section, you want it to look very, very specific and that's partly why we use Webflow because of the flexibility. So let's go ahead and remove that background color, leave it to transparent. And what we can do instead is apply an interaction. So what we can do is we can hit a Z and we can select the body, which is essentially the parent div, the massive long body. It holds every single element. We can go ahead and apply an interaction, hit page trigger, and we can go ahead and click while page is scrolling. Then we can go ahead and create a new animation by clicking play scroll animation, hit plus, and we can go nav bg color change. Hit enter. 
Now we hit a Z so we can select the navbar layer right here. Click plus at 0%. I can go ahead and hit background color. And what you can do is you can also affect the class. Therefore, it would affect the class rather than the actual selected div block. That way, if you use this in every other page, it will actually work. So right now you can see once I've done this, it will automatically create another one at the very bottom at 100%, which is fine. So the first scroll action we want is we want to change the background color to 0% opacity. So right now it's set to white at 0% alpha, which is what we want. And at 100%, what we can do, we can go ahead and change the background color, in my case, to black. As you can see, it shows you live what it's doing. But you'll notice this 0% is starting at the very top of the page and the 100% is at the very bottom of the page. So if I actually just click this live preview, you can see everything's working. You can see where I'm at at the animation. And you can see it just takes very, very long all the way down when you scroll all the way to the bottom, then the black appears. So you can play around with the exact percentage you want. If you want this to be instant, you can go ahead and change the bottom black background keyframe from 100% to 1%. Now, if you hit save, you go ahead and just preview the site. We have this lovely background video. Uh, it's actually a bird in a car park that I filmed. And we have this nav bar that's working very, very well. It's, it's contrasting very well. And when the user scrolls down instantly or almost instantly, it goes into this black background. And as I keep scrolling, it's no longer interfering with the rest of the content. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you guys understand the premise. You can go ahead and just play around with the percentage, with the smoothing, with the background colors, uh, all that good stuff. But essentially, this is how you do it. And just keep in mind, if you want to use this navbar in a different page, let's just say, for example, I right click this and save it as a component and call it navbar new. And let's just say, for example, I'll go into a different page. Let's just say this page here or let's say this page here or let's say this page here and you'll notice that I have all this content here I can go ahead and get rid of this navbar in the previous video I go ahead and just add that component that I just saved right here and you'll notice that in this specific example it actually does not work so you just have to make sure every time you put this new navbar into a new page you want to go ahead and select body right here, go interactions, hit plus, hit while page is scrolling, then hit play scroll animation and click navbar color change. So you're going to make sure that you do that in every single page. And you'll notice right here there is no background image, so that's why you can't see the white. But as I scroll down, that is how the effect is applied. So just make sure you apply it to the body class and everything is happy days. So again, hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want more Webflow videos and design videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I'll see you guys there.